When choosing between a Genie garage door opener motor, it's important to know if you're getting a TKV or a TKSV, because one of them is a mistake. Let's party. Hey party people, Santiago from SOS Garage Door Service. And on this channel, we provide you pro tips and tech reviews for your residential garage door needs. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you don't mind, hit that like button. That would really help out the channel. Now, the reason why we're exploring this subject is because Genie has so many models to choose from. In fact, just in their retail line, they have over 60 models. Now, these happen to be different variants that are specific to different regions and different retail outlets like Home Depot and Lowe's. And if you don't believe me, you can simply download the Built app and you'll see that they have a number of models there just to choose from. That's just in their belt and chain line. Here you have their screw drive line right there and uh, the wall mount motors right there. So keeping in mind that if you're looking at a Genie motor, well, you want to make sure that you're looking at a specific motor that will obviously provide you the features that you want. And yet there's one specific model that I think is a huge mistake. Okay, so I have here the Genie model 2055. Now this is a retail motor, as you can tell right here, it's very standard to pretty much everything that the Genie retail line will offer. It is a DC motor. I think this one particularly came with a belt drive. This one does not have the terminal for a battery backup. You can see that hole right here. And yet, oops, it's basically the same thing. But that's one of the main reasons why I'm talking about this specific issue, because Genie's lineup, again, will offer, they'll just offer a lot of motors. But when you're specifically looking at the TKSV, this particular model variant, you're gonna find it in the Home Depot lineup, pretty much anything that's within the Home Depot Signature Series. Now the TKV variant, that is the TKV designation, sometimes it's also known as the TKVE or the TKV, even I'm getting confused. The point is, is that if it is a Home Depot Signature Series garage door opener motor from Genie, it's gonna look completely different. Like for example, the light covers to this particular motor, they simply clip on like so. This is the light cover system that I prefer because it doesn't get too complicated. On the Genie Home Depot Signature Series, they're going to have the light cover that has two type of pieces. And these light covers are not seamless. They don't connect well. They're difficult to install and they're just not that pretty. And quite frankly, I don't think it's a very good design change or design choice to the Genie retail lineup. And I know many customers and many homeowners who are putting this motor up in their homes are talking about it. So again, keeping in mind that the Signature Series will not have these types of light covers. If you can find a light cover like these, these light covers, it should probably work. Actually, no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work because they have a different type of of setup, I, I need to try that. I would need to see that. That's gonna be a different video for sure. But again, this type of light cover, very different than the TKSV retail Home Depot model that Genie offers. Yeah, that's a mistake. Now there's another aspect to those Genie TKSV motors that I think are a huge mistake. And that is going to be the program buttons. I'm gonna show that on the B cam. You can see those program buttons right there. You see how they protrude, they're raised. They're easy to even see and they're easy to press. 
Well, on the TKSV motor, these are flat. These, quite frankly, are not as easy to program when you press the button. Sometimes there's a misfire. Sometimes there's an issue with the way the button will hold or press down. I do not like it. I think that's a huge mistake. I, again, another design choice that I believe they made a mistake on and I want you to avoid that mistake. These type of raised protruded buttons, it's gonna be a lot easier to program the travel limits. It's gonna be easier to program additional remotes, a wireless keypad. This is a lot better than what you're gonna be getting out of the Genie TKSV motor. Ultimately, I think it's going to save you a lot of headache, knowing that perhaps maybe you'll need to reprogram your travel limits due to power outages or things of that nature. Now, are there any other concerns or any other variants of motors that you should be aware of in the Genie retail line? Well, honestly, no. I don't think you're going to have to worry about any of the other motors because they all mimic, they all look like this right here. If you go with the Lowe's product, for example, the 7155, the 7055 from Lowe's, that motor looks a lot like this. Of course, they did do some changes to the actual design or I guess you could say the form of the motor but it still mimics this it'll still look like this some of the uh, light covers will look a little bit different but they all kind of match that same look they'll all stay within this vein within this DNA of motor which is perfectly fine of course these are made of polycarbonate housing a lot of this is still plastic with the exception of course of the metal uh, housing here and of course you have your motor shaft you got your DC motor behind there and bearing all things in mind that with regards to a retail motor it is going to have that pieced rail assembly in fact you can purchase a genie one-piece rail assembly and put it on the retail motors they have the exact same holes the exact same spacing to do that it's quite easy to do in fact so i don't think you're going to have a problem with that but just keep in mind whether it's a chain drive or a belt drive within the retail line it's going to pretty much mimic this style and you should be able to utilize it easily with this motorhead Now you're probably thinking that I am nitpicking the Genie TKSV model from Home Depot, and I don't think I am. I've had a number of homeowners reach out to me through this channel and even through email, and they tell me, hey, yeah, I'm going through the same situation, but you want to make sure that what you are getting, the variant that you're getting, the motor model that you're getting, is going to work within your needs. It's, it's going to alleviate your headaches and not add more headaches into your life. And ultimately, with these motors, especially from the retail line, you don't get much support. You're not able to really talk to someone through the Home Depot outlet or even the Lowe's outlet. You know, you can probably talk to customer service, but the only real solution that they want to provide for you is either talking to the manufacturer and going through customer support, or they'll just change out the motor for you. They'll give you your money back, but that's still time. That's still effort on your part. In fact, the pro tips, techniques, and ideas in this video should not be considered law or infallible. Why? Well, because I am nobody, but at the same time, it's important for you to understand your garage door needs and your garage door circumstances. And if you don't care to do that, if you don't care to fight with a retail outlet or with even with the manufacturer, and you want someone to provide you one-on-one -on -one person support, well, then reach out to a contractor because that's what we're there for. Now, if you have a question with regards to the Genie Garage Door Opener Motor lineup, that is through the retail channel or even some of the Pro Series motors, please leave one down below. I'd love to be able to respond to it. In fact, if you're interested in seeing a review on a high-end Genie Garage Door Opener Motor, you can check that out right here. I wanna thank you for watching this video and partying with me. And as always, y'all stay safe.